Hey guys, um, just one more video to post on here. I might be posting more next week too. Um, but just just so you guys have as many options as you uh, as possible, I wanted to put just one more fun project in here. Doesn't really um, need, doesn't necessarily have to be you know for a specific grade or any anything. But for this one, all you need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and something like a straight edge of some sort, so like a ruler. Um, but honestly, like when I was younger and I didn't have a ruler, I used things like the side of a notebook or whatever it is. You just need something to be a straight edge. So what you're going to do first is you're going to just draw some, some um, polygons. And a polygon is a, a shape that has three or more angles and sides. So for example, a triangle is a polygon. Um, a square is a polygon, okay? Um, you could even make up your own type of polygon as long as it has three or more shapes, and, or sorry, not shapes, but uh, corners and sides, it's uh, a polygon. So I'm just gonna draw a bunch of those. Could be anything, really. Whoops. It's gotta be, like, don't do what I just did. You don't wanna draw any sort of, like, curved lines. It's all very straight and angular lines, okay? So you're gonna draw that and you're gonna fill your whole paper with it. So I'm just gonna draw any kind of shape that has angles and sides of three or more. You could even do like a, there's a hexagon. Um, maybe we'll do another square. Triangle here. Well, that's not a triangle now. Um, really anything. So you're going to fill your whole paper. The shapes, you can make them up. Oops, there's a curve. We don't want curves. Okay, I'm just going to draw like one or two more and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so there's some shapes, and what you're going to do now is you're going to do what's called a perspective drawing. And so what you need, oh, whoops, there goes my pencil. What you need is a what's called a vanishing point, and a vanishing point is, um, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but when you, maybe when you're standing on the sidewalk or whatever, and it's a very straight sidewalk, you look down and you notice that the sidewalk is starting to sort of angle into one point and it's uh, that point is called a vanishing point. So it's just one point you can put anywhere, honestly, anywhere on your paper. Um, I'm going to put mine here, okay? And this is going to be where all of the things sort of go to. So um, let's say we start with this square. All of the corners of this square, and maybe if you want to get really technical, you can fix some of those angles. But all of these corners are going to draw a line going toward that vanishing point. The only thing that you need to uh, make sure, uh, well, it's not the only thing, but the thing that you need to make sure you're doing, though, is if a corner is going, you don't want to draw a corner going toward the vanishing point if you can't see. So, like, this is, like, the top, and these are the sides going towards it but you wouldn't be able to see these other sides. So that's all I'm gonna draw for that one. But for this one, I'm gonna draw it over here toward the vanishing point and just all of the corners go toward it. It's really fun. Okay, I got that. My ruler's a little bit off, um, but that's okay. It'll do. So I'm going to do the same thing with all of my shapes. I'm just going to focus on the corners, and it's going to go toward that vanishing point. Right there. There's one. You can kind of see it there, so I'm going to draw this one too. But I'm not going to draw. Um, I'm not going to draw this one. I can draw this one maybe. But I'm not going to. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to draw anything inside those shapes that I've drawn. So that's what you want to think about when you're starting this. I've got this line, but I'm going to stop at the shape, right? 
You can still see it here. Okay, and you're going to do that with everything. And this will take some time, which is okay. You're not going to draw over other shapes either, so I'm going to stop at that shape. I'll just finish this shape out and then I'll show you the next thing. Could I see one there? No, 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 no. Nope. So that one's done. Maybe just like one more shape here. My hexagon here. I think you can see a little bit on this one. Yeah, but that's it. So it's everything. It looks like you're standing or looking at a um, an abyss, like underneath. I mean, like through this is like a giant fall almost. So what you want to think about now is, hey, where's the light source coming from? And I'm going to just, I like to pretend like, you know, here's my lamp or here's my sun or whatever. And so you're going to shade according to where your light source is coming from. And if my light source is here, that means like the top here is going to be more lit than this because it's falling in. So I'm going to start shading some of these shapes. But the closer it gets to the top, the lighter it's going to be. So it's almost like you're making a gradient. And you're going to do that with all of those. Maybe this is even darker. So I'm going to push harder on this one. Something that is really dark is actually these lines. They should be pretty dark. So I'm going to fix these lines. Maybe right here. It starts kind of like this light, but then it's going to get darker and darker. And I'm not going to color any of my shapes. Okay, and I'll just shade it this way. Okay. So it looks like this shape is going down into this giant gaping hole, right? So you're going to do that with all of them. This is going to be, this is going to have more light because the light source is hitting it right here than this one. So this one's going to be darker. Okay, and if you don't like those pencil lines, which sometimes they bother me, you can take your finger and actually um, smooth it out. And take your eraser and fix some things. Right? So it makes it look really cool and real. Remember, the closer you get to that vanishing point, though, it's going to be darker. And it's going to look like all of these shapes are just kind of falling into that hole. So I will um, put a, an example of what this looks like on to my web page that you guys have been looking at. But it's pretty fun. And I hope you guys have fun with it. Happy drawing!